team from the Commonwealth of Independent States to represent them on the international stage. Safe, he's going to open things up immediately onto Nats there. The rest of the Gambit team are making their way in through Market. Going to have to come up against Safe once again. Draken is going to find one with the Shock Dart. And they're holding down this Market position quite handily here. The rest of the Gambit team, they have to rethink their strategy. Maybe come out from a different angle. They still have the Spike inside B main. They can rotate back round to A, but with the Guild side kind of converging on their location, it's becoming more and more difficult by the second. Definitely so, and no shit, it's gonna win it out against Yasin. Might be stunned for just a moment, but he can do some work, and Redgar's gonna go for the quick over in mid watching Pika. So if they're able to escape, and they will get the kill on the Sova. Awesome here for Chronicle and Draken. Positional advantage, Leo trying to break down the door there so he can take his left. way in through that avenue. 10 seconds left, and we can see the spike getting planted with just a little time. Now Shados is going to take the head off of Safe as he comes through the smoke. Bunkar takes down the trade. Now it's only Leo left. He'll try and spray down Redgar, but Redgar is quicker with the ghost. Gambit take this. will obviously make it super interesting for Gambit just to make sure they're getting the most buck or the most bang for their buck. He has seen spotted for a moment. He's going to drop and. Almost losing the gunfight there, but still at max HP, he gets two, oh. three for him <laughs> as Leo comes in for the clean. They head all the way in where Safe is waiting for them. On Carl also left. on the site, he's holding down B main. Safe will fire a few shots off, but Draken is the one who finds the first pick onto Defo. Well, now they have full control of that area, and Gambit, they're kind of stuck into a corner here. Draken on one side, the rest of the team on the other. And as they close in on that position, they have to push into sight. Safe will find the first, Redgar with the trade, and Leo finds one more, but Nats, he takes down two quickly. And he's going to get on sight, plant the spike, with two players left on Guild to try and retake. There goes the spike, and the time it resets itself. Using the neural theft to find out where the two players are. There we go, good information. They're both right in front of you, just towards market, but... Oh, well, it's still all in Guild's hands. They both come in through that side. Nats won't Ooh. find the first pick. Leo finds the head first somehow, some way, and they do get- Creator being bought up here by the jet. We pushed back very quickly here, so gotta be very careful. And Yasin's gonna go down early on. Not sure where he was picked off, but mm. it's a very important pick here uh, early on to give Gambit some sort of advantage as they decide potentially to go to A. And another one that's Defo on the safe. It's looking good. Yeah, Leo is in a position I don't think they're well, expecting though, and he'll turn around the corner, find Shados, at least now Chronicle knows that he's inside wine here, he's gonna have to push all the way out, but he will get the second kill onto Chronicle, so they do need to make a decision soon as Guild, they hold them back in there, Drake is gonna go for the first contact, and he sprays down Defo through the wall, not taking a single bit of damage for himself, but the Paranoia is gonna tag him up, now Redgar, he's looking for a pick, but Nats will find the first one onto Draken, and it's a 2v2, but there's only 20 seconds left, here comes the From the Shadows, he's gonna go in towards Boathouse there, a ballsy play could have gone all the way to a if he wanted to well gambit they're playing for this b control wants to stay near his teammate the spray down is going to do a lot of damage and bunker i'll find the finish through the wall now it's just redgar left and he has to still plant the spike out comes the rolling oh thunder to deny it the, every bit of utility being used but redgar does find one because paranoid up by his own teammate but oh well didn't die at the very least so he gets in for free and clears the site out at least uh guild they didn't want to contest that that blade storm's jet Heard that coming in. You've seen he is going to use the lockdown to try and push him out, and out comes the Hunter's Fury to deny it. Defo, he finds the first with the Blade Storm, a clean right click to Yassine will finish that one off, and already the kill. Oh, the Killjoy art is down. Safe and Draken, though, they found their own kills, and that he's holding up in tree, so he will take down Draken. The Cosmic Divide is utilized to get them into safe positions. Redgar takes down Bonka, Leo onto Nat. Redgar finds another onto safe, but it's already halved, and Leo's just got to finish it off. Through the Cosmic Divide comes. Cr in hell. Just next round for Gambit. They're looking for the early pick and Defo. One shot with absolutely anything. A touch from a fly. A, a strong breeze could take him down at this point. <laughs> Safe. He's going to find the first head onto Defo and dash out of there. Down to 46 HP. Still has four blades in hand though. Shados going to use that res onto Defo. Get him back up and running. Oh, Safe. So he misses the right click on the blade storm and gets put down to 18 HP. Runs straight into Nats who will also find the second head of Bunkar. And they'll make their way in to B. And they're rushing down the guild side. They're going to oh, jump on in there. Defo. With a quick dash in, he'll find the head of safe immediately. He can't land a shot with the marshal. Leo right around the corner on this one. Bonkar will find one on site, and Leo finds the head of Defo first. Now he can make his way back in from CT, and it's only a 2v3. Not too bad of a situation, especially on a well, round where you weren't really buying up at all. Chronicle with the operator, though. He will find Leo. 
The Shade also finished it off on TSC, and that's their fifth round. Biggie, though, with his peak here, and he does have the Killjoy in the meantime. Going in for the quick spray, but Yassin's gonna be spotted here in Wine. Keep on spraying, might be able to retreat, and oh, just close. Getting hit there by the Sova. Marbot is out, and more damage on the Chronicle, but finally it's Yassin going down to Shados. And should be able to get the full heal here on Sova. In can head over towards B and try and keep them from getting in here. The recon dart and safe just hits the shot onto Nats jumping around the corner. Redgar used his From the Shadows to get in towards Boathouse. And he does take down Drake. And in the meantime, safe now has two angles that he needs to worry about. One right in front oh of him. My. He's right there. He'll find the shot onto Chronicle for his third pick. And he's looking for more. He's bloodthirsty and he's trying to find the last two players. Those ones on site right behind him. Those as one in B main. He's just trying to keep a hold of this one. I think he knows he took the spike down there. Out goes the smoke. Oh, and it's a very close shot. Safe doesn't quite hit it. Bunkar will take down Shade off though, and it's just Redgar on 16 HP. The shots with the classic. He won't find it safe, but doing absolute numbers at the start of every round. He's been getting so many opening picks now. Gravity well to keep them inside of market here, but they're not going for peaks here. Guild, they're waiting for it. Out comes a flash and the Hunter's Fury being used as well to try and push them out. Bonkar comes in from behind. He'll find the first and he'll find the second. But Shados and Chronicle, they've already found two picks of their own. Draken will spray down Defo from behind with the Aries there and Nats. It's all up to you to clean this one up in the 1v3. Makes his way onto site slowly and I don't think Draken will know he's this close at this point. He doesn't have much utility to work with and misses the first few shots. Now the last piece of cage he's used to get in towards Boathouse here. Draken doesn't see him come in from the side and Bonkar now is the next contact. He'll use the Rolling Thunder to try and clean up this round moves in but the first shot he'll come from Nat Yassin will claim it uh, he does get out of the way of safe as he moves all the way in Bonkar's gonna be flashed up but not killed just yet Chronicle right around the corner and he has to defend Boathouse for himself he's gonna be sprayed down by Yassin with the ghost there and they get in towards sight but it's all five players in the same position they don't have safe post plants here Defo will find the first one safe for the trade Shados takes down Leo and now there's 3v3 and they still have to get the spike planted here Guild they will be able to just get a little bit of reprieve to get that spike on the ground now as it goes down Red guy he's taken up the left position Nats over towards CT and one more player over in towards market. There we go. We've used the heal. Now we can safely go in with as much chance as we can possibly get. They move around now and guild players. Oh, Shados will take down safe immediately through the wall. Two headshots will finish that one off. And now it's a 2v3 and Yassin has to do everything here. He'll find one, but Redgar's there with the trade. Now it's just Draken in Boathouse. In the 1v2, he turns around the corner, but he doesn't know what's on the left. He takes down Redgar, the recon dart, to find out where Nats is. But Nats is there with the headshot. On the right way to do things, which is, hey, let's pressure A and try to get in there. But Nats has a camera. It's going to be very important to this one. Oh, Redgar comes in with the Bucky. He only finds one, unfortunately. Leo will trade that one out, but Nats is taking down safe on site, and through the cage he finds Yassine as well. Leo again with the double headshot, and he'll find his fourth onto Nats. The smoke, they're gonna shoot you through that one, buddy. You're gonna have to get a little, a little further back. He dashes into the smoke, and the spray down from Drake, and takes down Leo, and, oh! Drake, and they will finish off that round. Six HP remaining, and Defo is the savior of the round for Gambit. That was way... Like the push through pizza into market, it's gonna happen. B is the place to go. Defo almost hits that shot onto safe Ooh. with the smoke and the knives. Only one lands. Redgar, he's holding down a short here. And look at tagged up. Shados in the meantime, he's taken down safe over towards market. That's a good first pick to find. Oh, but Redgar's... Gotta deal with it. It's all on Leo here to help out. And there we go. So well, there we go. Yeah, at the very least, the spike plant. Now it's a 3v5, and with the spike planted, and provided you get nice post plant positions, that's not too unfavorable. They could still win this for sure here, but Chronicle has been going off with this Odin. Now Leo finds the head of Defo, bringing it to a 3v4. Draken and Leo, they're going massive, and Bonkar trades up Bo uh, Draken now, and it's actually just Redgar by himself. He'll find one, but Bonkar's there with a the trade. They find their first round in the second half, and... Hey, you gotta show me what you can do with it, and... Oh, oh. Redgar, stop! He still gets a kill out of it, and that's gonna go in and get two of his own down to 5 HP. The work's already been done, and he could get healed up here by the Sage if he stays alive. He could just relay all the info all day, every day. I don't believe it. I yeah. saw Redgar get tagged up by the fault line, I was like, well, that's it, goodbye. One taps! One taps! 
the enemies. And the trade comes through as well with two more. Now Naps will take down Leo for his third, and it's just Bonkar with 30 HP, and their dreams are being crushed within Gambit. As safe as it's gonna get. Yeah, that Rolling Thunder really all it did was a little bit of terraforming, just knock up the earth in the B site. Well, or the A site, sorry, well. Shados is going to be first contact, but actually not going to use the wall to his advantage. No trades have come out so far, although Leo has been taken down to very low HP here on 11, watching out for this one. And now comes the Hunter's Fury from Draken this time. He's going to try and take out the players, stop them from getting in. He doesn't actually hit anybody whatsoever. Leo will find Defo first, as well as the head of Nats, but Shados and Chronicle come in massive to bring it back to 3v3. Red and Oh, sorry, I've just completely screwed up my words there. Redgar is coming through with the charge, and he'll find the game. That was uh, a throw and a half uh, in many ways if you're describing it with 10 to 2. So you don't want to repeat that. You want to. You don't want to be in that kind of segment here. So what will Gambit do as they had the time to kind of watch and see what Guild were doing yesterday and prep themselves? The full effect. Out comes the Cosmic Divide as well. They're going to move in now and try and get towards sight. No fate coming out, but Nats is just going to move through. Take one headshot onto your scene. Safe is there with a trade. Draken with another trade after Safe is taken down. Shade also take down Draken and Leo, though. And now it's all up to Bunkar. 41 HP. Here it is. I think this will be the end of the map, unfortunately, for Guild. And out comes... Well, looking for the aftershock because he has to move forward and get this spike. It's a good idea to clear them out of the area, but he starts to turn around the corner. The shot will miss from one player on the Gambit side there, and the spray down working up that pressure here. Chronicle already moving in and sees Yasin there, but Yasin's going to spray him up through the wall. Drake and Bonkar and Leo, they're all going in, and Defo, he takes down Draken, but it's still a 4v2 at this point. Yasin will find the head of Guild. Falling back and right above and even below. Everybody's kind of dropping in there. Only add more. I'll try and make that happen over there. Like Drake and his wait for them. Oh, oh. they'll get domed immediately by Chronicle. So we'll just give him the benefit of the uh, of the doubt in that moment. The quick days here on a defo and it's gonna be able to jump up on the block. Safe's gonna go down in the meantime to Nat. Chronicle left. is watching her rotation in. Are they gonna be able to stop the plant from going down? No, they won't, but there's more than enough time. The breach is last. But, but I do like myself a bandle. Oh, so does Defo. He'll take down Yasin with one tap. Draken's there for the trade. Ish, I guess, to go for plant on B, but no, Leo's gonna grab Nats here, poking in through Kitchen. By his own teammate, and Chronicle, he's gonna try and take advantage of that, but flashed up. One headshot. Shados takes down safe, but Bonkar's there for the trade, and it's all up to Redgar at this point. Seven seconds left, and no real safe place to get the plant down. Tries to find the head of... Bonkar, but Bonkar's there to finish quite new to even Europe at this point, but we saw a couple of teams playing it here. Safe finds the first pick, and Yasin is finding the head of Chronicle there, also the head of Nats there. That's a 5v3 already, and it's already turned well into oof, Guild's favor, but Defo is quick with a headshot onto Bonkar, and Shade also find Drake in here, and this is where the Sage comes in handy on B site, putting up the wall to get the spike down, and also finding the head of your seed. And now there's only two players spike left planted. on the guild side. Leo's coming in from behind, and got one player coming in from mid as well. Player standing. Oh, but Shade oh. is quick with all those heads. Oh, if it's flashed and then stunned, I'm not sure exactly if that was planned, but Defo finds the head of Leo first, and you see misses the first two knives, doesn't hit the last three either, as Shade also take him down, it's now... What will Yassine do here on the jet? Defo is going to be... Oh. oh, ring in the fire! Let's do early picks for Gambit. Planted. Spray through the wall is not going to find the kill, so... I have to try and retake this one. Nat's holding down. down the flank, trying to make sure nobody comes through there, but... Oh, actually, two players are going to be coming around straight into Nat's crossfire. Nope, never mind. They're just trying to make me sound like an idiot. So they'll head back and Drake, and instead he uses his Viper's pick. Push back the Gambit players and get control of the spike. The Defo is going to be first contact, and he will take that one down, Draken. Now it's a 3v3, and only oh! of Guild as Draken. He finds his third pick. He's looking for more. He finds a head of Nats as well. He's looking for the ace, and it's just Redgar pushing through. Leo will find the last pick. They get the spike defuse, and that'll be the end of that. Guild take back control of the half with the fourth round. Tom Dart's going to push him back a little bit, though, and that means that wall has been wasted, possibly, in a sense. Oh. Chronicle will find the first pick, but Bonkar's there to take down Defo and bring it back to a 4v4. Now, Gambit, they're heading over towards B. I mean, Guild, they have to watch out for every location. Leo will find one, but Chronicle again takes down Yassine. It's trades on different parts of the map. The flash and the double oh. take from Bonkar eventually he does find the head of Shados. Luckily, that flash connected. Safe finds Chronicle, and now it's just Redgar left on site with the spike, but Leo will...
and Guild have changed up their composition on Icebox recently. As we saw, Draken's actually in a really nice position here. If he was a little earlier, he could have caught those players in maze, but he will find one in Defo, and Leo cleans up the rest. Now there's only one player left in Nats, and it's a clean headshot from Draken, finishing it out. And it is on, so this is your, your best spot here. The turret in a great position, actually. And dashing on through, Defo's gonna get caught up here by Yasin, but two in for Nats and Shado. The Odin in Saif's hand will only get one, but it's Leo to reflect. He gets another shot onto Chronicle, and he has the Hunter's Fury, unable oh. to deny the plant, the spike, just at the wrong time. Uh, Red Guard oh. slash solo, and there it is. Guild winning out the round. It was on to A, Days. This Chronicle is gonna get spotted, taken out, but Saves already, or actually Shader from this time, is already taken down. You oh, see? Wh what a transfer from Defo! And he's looking for more with a smoke out. What a beautiful headshot from Defo! He's feeling on fire now. Shados is playing up close, but Drake, and he'll take down Defo in a little bit of revenge there for that. Crazy shot. Defo, uh, Shados is moving up and he'll be caught by the firing squad of safe over there. And then Redgar, he's in behind. One Bonkar wasn't remaining. expecting. In some ways, the spike is like a second player in this situation. Defenders do have to keep in mind that they still have to defuse a spike, so playing for time can be massive here. Draken sets down that snake fight. That's going to do a lot of damage to Nats, but he gets away with his life. They're going to try and push him out of position now. They know I have a little bit of time. Shots don't land for either team, but Nats will finish it off in the end and still has ample time to get the spike defused. Maybe about, let's say, 3.47. about that? Oh, Chronicle catches out safe there, but... Doesn't quite have the firepower to take him down completely. Turns around the corner, bloodthirsty, and Yasin will punish him for that one. Defo trying to find one, but Draken turns around the corner with the immediate headshot. Now Redgar, he's at the back of sight, but he'll get taken down by Yasin now, and it's looking like a flawless round in the works for Guild here. As two players left for Gambit, one coming round. Team that they have an operator, but somehow, maybe knowing that they've got that Yasin, he'll take the first pick onto Chronicle, a clean shot, but he'll take a lot of damage for it as well. And Defo is left by himself with the help of Shados, who's at least. That's the hope for now. Oh, 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 there it is. Yasin will do it to support that A side. And should this kill go down, it would be huge. No, Defo misses it. He's got to be forced left. back for just a moment. That will go down oh. in a moment. Shados does take one down, but not being able to get the spike planter. Who gets back? And Draken will actually take out Shados now, so it's a 2v2. Redgar one takes out Bonkar, but it's Draken with a third. Oh, and Redgar will finish it out just about. It's a very close effect. Playing three players towards mid, and Redgar might actually think that this is safe, but he hears Bonkar jump right behind him. That might be massive. He comes oh. through. No, Draken to the rescue. He'll find the headshot before much damage can be done whatsoever. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate there for Gambit, but Nats, he'll try and bring it back. He finds a first pick onto Yasin before the spike gets planted. Draken won't find his second because Chronicle turned him around the corner, has that in his own hands. The blade saw him in the hands of Defo as he flies up into the air. He's not going to find anybody over the top of that wall, but two players over towards mid are both going to get tagged up. Chronicle using the Empress to move in. Shados uses the res onto Redgar, and Defo, he'll take down two. One more onto Bunkar. It's just Leo, and he gets domed in the back of the head by Nats up there. He's actually going to get tagged through the wall. Oh, but he will find the first pick. That's a spike down and he can use his dismiss to get away right into Draken's face. But Defo takes down Yasin in a little trade there. Out comes the Hunter's Fury from Redgar over from CT, but I don't think that's going to find anybody too easily. Oh. I think he dodged under that note, but he does get caught by it. Oh, Defo! He doesn't get killed, but he's going to have to use all of his abilities to get out of there and the heal comes out from Shados as well. Redgar right round the corner. We do get the spike down here, Guild. Means they can take up nice locations. The shock dart onto no safe way, is going to do a little bit of damage. And out comes the Hunter's Fury from Leo. How many can he get with this? Safe? None whatsoever, oh. but safe. Oh, he's quick with a headshot. Oh, but Redgar is there for the trade immediately. Only two players left on the Guild side. Can they keep a hold of this one? They do have a snake bite. Only one here. The Viper's Pit has been used on the other side. Well, nobody's going for the defuse, so that snake bite goes to waste, and the shock dart from Leo isn't going to catch anybody either, but Draken does find one. Defo takes down Leo, but Draken is just spraying blindly through a smoke, and Defo finishes it out. Still, every round means something to them at this point. Chronicle's quick with a headshot onto safe, though, and he'll finish that one out with a body shot. Shados is coming in from behind. Defo, quick with the operator. He'll take out Yasin as well. He'll find another one to the Draken. That takes down Leo. Chronicle will finish it out onto Bunkar. And that's a flawless round to take. So, 30 oh, seconds left. Set in the back. Oh, going in for the Empress as the daze comes out. Onto Chronicle. And can he spot his opponents out? It's going to be forced back, but 
They're gonna keep it on going. Oh, goes in for the shot, but loses it to Bonkar. Unfortunate there, even with the ult in, 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 in use. And that's looking for a pick, but it's Shados and Leo to get one piece. Turn it into a 3-2. Oh, no. oh, yeah, no. they're taking control of that! Every single round to take it to overtime. The only way to survive. Yeah, seen somehow oh, surviving! Yeah. Bunkor and safe with a shot each, and that's what Guild have needed. Well, that's how you get back into it. And now they do have the lockdown available, which gives them full reign over which site they want to go to. They're gonna head back towards A. Oh, Drake and will get the kill onto Chronicle, and it's like somebody's lit a fire under them. Defo trying to get some with the blade stick. Defo misses his first shot as Draken slinks back into Maze and looking for a second one, but he's going to be stunned up and safe. The pump from going down completely, but it's not quite how it works. And the Blaze Storm is going to be used for Guild as well. It's going to help keep them in control of this one. But with five players retaking, still not out, not in their favor completely. The Rolling Thunder will be pushed back four of those players, but Defo, he's still up there with the Operator, and he's going to move forward for the Ooh. first pick. He misses the first shot there. That's massive, because Justine comes in with the Blaze. He takes one. Defo's there with the trade, but Safe is going massive with three. It's all up to Shados now, and there's not much he can do in this position with the time ticking down. Three players just watching his position. He'll find the first one to be his. That's going to be difficult. They now know he's on the left side of the site. Well, it's stage left. They know he's on the right side of the site for them. Oh, and he's getting tagged through the smoke, and he won't find the first pick, so that's massive. Devo can find that kill. The Owl Drone is going to find out where safe is, and there's one player coming in from behind, but Nats is ready for that. And Leo's not going to be able to find the trade either. Yes, he is, just about. It's only two players left on the guild side, though. Chronicle finds the head of safe from under heaven, and it's just Leo to clean it up, and they all know he's coming in from behind. Defo is ready for this push. He'll find the head. It's a 3k for Defo. This round could be completely over, and this series could be completely over. So through comes Yassine, but Nats just sprays him down immediately. Put up by the fault line, but spraying through the smoke. Shados will find the head of Leo now. There's only three players left on the side of guild, and their hopes are slipping away from them. One by one, as each player gets taken out. Safe on site, he'll take down Redgar and Shados is up in heaven watching for the first pick and he'll find safe. But he moves round and the trade will come through from Drake and now it's a 2v3. It's still not in the favor of Gil, but there we go. Drake and finds his second. They still need to get the spike down. No, he thinks they're planting default. It's a good choice not to plant default there for Gil. Drake and he's going aggressive through the smoke here. Your shoulder is peeking through there, but it's right around the corner so Defo can't see it, but he might be ready for him in this position. They're spraying each of the teams through the smoke here. Chronicle uses the Leer, pushes through, but Bunkar's quick with the headshot. It's just Defo to finish it out now. He dashes straight into the snake bite, down to 5 HP. Comes around the corner, but Draken's quicker. There it is, 13 is on B for the side of Guild. Only one over towards A, so Draken's going to have to hold this one down massively. The snake bite is going to deter them from coming through, but Defo has already found Bonkar over towards the other side of the site, or the spray through the wall isn't going to quite kill Draken or anybody else, but Chronicle finds one before the trade comes through. Defo takes down Draken as well. Now it's just Yassine left, and it's looking like a repeat of the last overtime, where it looks like they lose this first round, dropping down. I'll find the head of Defo. You make it there. You don't have to win those games. You just have to make it there. Last four teams standing. Chronicle is caught out and oh. Defo misses the shot. And he's going to get tagged up with a headshot through the wall down to 18 HP. They're going to have to back up a little bit now. Especially with that after shot coming through. <gasps> oh, but Chronicle is quick with a headshot onto the oh. And we've seen as well. Bunker, he's there with the trade. But massive from Chronicle to keep him away. Kitchen here. Safe is going to have to get this one tap. He wants to keep this alive. Oh, Nat, he finds left. it first, and he'll oh. take down Bunkar as well. It's all up to Draken, and, and he knows the spike is down in heaven as well. Two players have converged on that location. He'll take down Shados and Nat as well. He's still on 89 HP with 27 armor into 1v2 once again. But this time, well, he doesn't have... Well, he will have the Viper's Pit, actually, after planting the spike. Mm -hmm. There we go, and he's going to use that. They know he's using it, and they know they can just push it quickly if they want to, but no. Not finding the kill before the Viper's Pit deploys means that they have to push it themselves. Defo and Redgar, let's see if they can retake this one. The Recon Dart comes out, which pushes Draken outside of the Viper's Pit at the very least. A snake bite. Try and kill one player coming in towards that. He'll find the kill onto Defo. It's just a 1v1 at this point. Six bullets left in the chamber, and Drake and he only needs to find one more. Oh! He'll find the head of Redgar, and they clutch it up for third overtime. Nobody threw you. I mean, he knows somebody threw you. Can't really do much about it. Nats flashed out. Oh, he turns around at the flash. wrong moment. So well done here. And Yassine able to collect the kill. Good shot from left. Redgar, but that spike is not going to go down easily. No. 
and put up that wall, and that's exactly what they do. Shados will find safe as well. Regar is going to try and move through, but a lot of the Gambit players are on low HP now, and Guild, they can push through with this one. They throw down uh, that fight there. Oh, and Leo sprays down Chronicle through the wall. Yasin finds Regar. Shados onto Yasin, and it's a 2v2, but there's only 8 seconds left on the clock as Shados moves around, tries to plant the spike, but Leo's there with another kill through the wall. There's no more time left. Devo has to get both kills to finish it out. He'll find one, but Leo's already around the corner. He's for Draken here. He find him. The recon dot towards there. Nats will take down Yasin, but at the cost of a lot of health. Draken onto Regar, and Shados takes down safe at this point. Nats is on low XP. Turning around the corner, he finds a head of Bunkar. Shados pushing through, but he doesn't know one player's behind him. It doesn't matter, he's just gonna jump down. 2v4, and Leo is taken down. It's just Draken to clutch it up once again, but we're going to Spike Planter here. With 15 seconds left, it could spell the end for Gambit in this round. He uses the Aftershock after hearing those shots. Here it comes, the Spike Planter uses the Aftershock to deny it. Gets the kill onto Chronicle, there's no more time left already. That's the end of the round, you see, he'll find another pick. Rekar try to bring it back, but it's too late. And the first round once again goes to... Just reading the name. <laughs> Gambit are moving back. Oh, Yasin and Redgar, they take contact and Yasin, he'll find one pick onto Redgar there. It's now 5v3 and it's looking once again like Guild. They're taking the first round of this. Defo, he picks up the Vandal and he'll find a headshot onto Yasin, but Leo's right around the corner. They don't know this. One headshot. Oh, not more than that though. Nats, he finds the trade and putting up a wall in the wrong location. A little bit of shakiness maybe. Draken is waiting for them right around the corner though. Nats will come through up top, but he finds the first kill through the wall onto Shados. It's just Nats left in a 1v3. He gets a spike down at the very least, but he's being flashed out and sprayed down through the wall. Coming in from behind, he'll take Ooh. down Draken now, and it's only two players left. Oh, he finds a head of Bunker. Oh, but safe. Clean back a little more. Just making sure Chronicle can't push forward. Nats, he'll find the first pick onto Draken. And safe isn't there for the trade just yet. Trying to stay safe, but there we go. Nats with his knife out trying to shoulder peek a little further away. He'll get taken down by safe. Chronicle finds the shoulder of Yasin, but he won't get the kill on that one, and backing up, he will find it eventually. Now into the 4v3, and Gambit have the advantage in this one, safe, he's alone on B, but there's somebody right behind him, he doesn't- Redgar might find this one first. He does just about, no quick headshots, but he'll finish it off at the end, and now Defo is there to find it. It's more OT! Right, though, it's well placed to keep him out of yellow, but Yasin is going to be first contact, and he'll find the head of Chronicle his way in through Kitchen to try and get a flank going for his team. He's going to be met by Leo, though. No, he'll find two heads. Leo and Bonker are both down, and now Guild have something else to worry about other than the three players pushing them from main. Yasin and Drake, and they'll take two, and Defo finds a trade, but now it's a 2v2 and Gambit. They don't have the spike down, and the spike is actually, look at that, on site, in an awkward position where safe can kind of hold it down at this point. It means that Redgar is coming through on mid, but he has to make his way all the way through both players. Safe, he's looking the wrong way. He'll get taken down by Redgar before he can get the 180 going. Here for a gambit might just be it. Sustainability. This is something that you rarely get to talk about unless you get into a longer series where uh, you'll see teams that are not as experienced. Have been able to grab the first round, but finally, oh! oh! Defo, what was that? Safe take is close enough. Oh, and he sees the firing squad, but he won't get a kill just yet. He's gonna have to back all the way out, but not quick enough. Yasin is there for the kill. It's a 4v4 now, and they try and move oh. in towards site. Leo's right there, and there are people waiting, but they can get the spike down at this point. The shock dart will do a little bit of damage, but not enough to keep them away. Out comes the fault line to try and keep them back, and this time, Guild, they can take nice post plant positions in this 4v4 and Drake and he's got two snake bites to keep them away. In push. One more overtime! Side. Oh my god, Leo finds one before the trade comes through from Redgar and it's a 3v3 now as Defo moves in with the operator but Draken is patient with the snake bites. He sends out one, he sends out the second and they can't go for the defuse yet, so they're gonna have to try and clean them out. Chronicle finds one, Bunkar with the trade, Redgar takes out Yasin, and it's just Bunkar! Oh, that's oh. it! This is Valorant! It happened! Finally!